This is the inside of the ballet machine with the real mechanism removed. I've just got my hand over a temporary light here just to light the mechanism on the side. This is a tool handle mechanism and it's released electrically by a solenoid up here, or an electromagnet, it's a better description, which then drops a lever, lets the handle pull across, but the handle cannot go back again until the coupling with the main mechanism that sits in here has released this little lever at the back and then the whole lot resets. Now the actual mechanism itself looks like this. The coupling from the machine is onto this spigot here and this drives the whole loading mechanism back. I'm not really sure the best name for this but it's really hard to push. I'm just going to try and fire it here. Oh Jesus that is so hard. Ah, there it goes. So I'll just do that again. Okay, so what's happening here is initially when you pull the handle down, these little levers go back. These are the payout detection levers, but they also unlock the reels, and the reels can then spin freely when you've done that. Um, there's another little we get down here, catches the edge of this, and just once it's unlocked, it gives it a flick to spin the reel round. And there's a cam mechanism controlled by this air brake, which is quite cute. It's um, it's kind of like from Clockwork era um, in clocks to control the speed, and that basically acts as a soft damper to to stop the reels sequentially. Now, when the reels stop, these wiping contacts will step in according to the depth of the notch in the metal plate and that uh, correlates to whatever is on the front of the reel. Um, so for instance if I was to wind it round to one that's fairly deep, I think that's the deepest there, and release it, it would snap right into the end contacts. For uh, a shallower one like the one next to it, it would be much uh, further back and that's how the winning combinations are computed by circuitry that passes through uh, these contacts from one reel to the next. The, this machine actually has hold and when a hold is actuated this little solenoid clicks in here and it stops this lever actually being kicked back, it locks it in position and that effectively stops the, that reel from spinning. Now there is another solenoid tucked away under here that will unlock it by releasing a little bar um, and that uh, takes off all the the, um, the holds, but they'll also reset automatically when the, the reel is operated. The reels themselves can be lifted out. I'm not going to demonstrate that now because it's a two-hand two job, should I say. But basically this little catch can go down or up and it will release the, the um, shaft for the reels, uh, which it makes it very, very serviceable. All the connections in the back are through these plugs and they mate quite firmly with um, with these alignment pins as well. Um, they mate firmly with the back of the mechanism and it won't operate without the real mechanism in place. It have to, has to actually be pushed firmly into position before the machine will operate at all. And that's a Bally Electromechanical slot machine.